Hi guys, today's tutorial is about AM Film Shakes and the AM Film UI panel. Many of you who purchased the shakes didn't know how to install them as a JSX panel in After Effects, so this tutorial is for you. And not only for AM Film Shakes owners, if you have other shakes or presets from different creators, you can also use the AM Film UI panel to display and use them directly inside After Effects. Let's get started. Just a quick reminder, the AM Film UI panel is completely free for everyone if you don't have it yet, you can download it from the link in the description below. To install everything properly, first make sure After Effects is not running, let's close it for a moment. Here I have the AM Film JSX version 3 file and the AM Film Shakes folder. The AM Film Shakes are paid, and for everyone who purchased them, I truly appreciate your support once again. The download link for the AM Film Shakes will be in the description as well. To download the JSX panel completely for free, make sure the price is set to zero. Or, if you'd like to support the channel, you can choose to pay any amount you want. Click Buy Now. Enter your email, and click Continue. Then click Download Now, and make sure to download AM Film V3, it's the latest version for now. New updates with more functions and buttons are coming soon. Once you've downloaded it, we can start installing the presets and the JSX panel. Just a note, if you don't own AM Film Shakes, you can use any presets you've purchased from other creators, or even free ones. It doesn't matter, everything works with the AM Film JSX panel. Let's start with the AM Film Shakes. Copy the folder, then go to your documents. Next Adobe, After Effects, User Presets and paste the AM Film Shakes folder there. The shakes are now installed, and next we can install the AM Film JSX panel. Go to your C drive. Open the Program Files folder, then Adobe, After Effects, Support Files. Here find the Scripts folder, then open Script UI Panels and drag the AM Film V3 JSX file into this folder. The installation is complete, so now we can run After Effects. At first, you won't see the panel in AE until you go to the window menu and scroll all the way down to enable AM Film V3. Here's the panel, it's currently undocked, so you can move it anywhere in After Effects. You can also dock it in the panel area like this. In this panel, you'll find some layer tools buttons that help speed up your editing, and also the effects tab where the shake presets we just installed are located. Click the drop down menu here, and you'll see the AM Film Shakes folder. Inside, there are subfolders for different resolutions. Since my composition is 1080p vertical, I'll select AM Film Shakes 1080p vertical. Now the shakes are ready to be applied. Select your clip, then click on any shake you want to use, and that's it. It creates a new layer with AM Film Shakes, including all the effects and motion blur already applied. Hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.